Welcome to my lecture online. So here is our second part of what we call the factors of coordinate systems or officially called elements of coordinate systems and essentially these are a bunch of variables that are essentially correction terms for orbital parameters and some of the input data that goes into these calculations is embedded in the ephemeris data that we get from the SVs down to the uh, ground station or down to the receivers. So the first one is the eccentric anomaly, so there's some slight changes in the eccentricity of the orbits and so we want to keep track of that. We also have an argument of latitude which is relative to the argument of the perigee, so we have another correction constant there. We also have what we call corrections for latitude, radius, and inclination of the orbit of the satellites. These are what we call second harmonic perturbations, so these are slight changes that happen throughout the orbit in the latitude, in the radius, and in the inclination of the orbit. And we want to keep track of those on a constant basis, so they're calculated and then included in the uh, calculations for the exact positioning of the, uh, of the space vehicles. So we also, also have a corrected argument of latitude constant here. So we have the corrected value for the angle right here that's calculated for the argument of latitude and then we add some small delta to come up with what we call the corrected argument of latitude. So that's, a, that's an improvement over this value right here. We also want to have a very accurate sense of what the radius is, the distance to the satellite, and notice that this is a constant change. We have the eccentricity involved here, we have the E sub K which is calculated up here, and then we have the small change in the radius that's accounted for over here, so that's included in this calculation. Notice that these three values here are then used in parameters to more accurately come up with the corrected argument of the latitude, the corrected radius, and the corrected inclination. So we add those second harmonic perturbations to our calculations to come up with even more correct values for those various parameters. We also have adjustments for the position in the orbital plane. Of course, this is dependent on U sub k. U sub k is again the corrected argument of latitude, so when you know exactly where the satellite is, you can then find the exact parameters for the x and y coordinates in the orbital plane of the satellite. And then finally, we also have what we call the corrected longitude of ascending mode. Notice that this is the uh, the longitude of the ascending mode. This is now the corrected value of that, where we take into account something that depends on the correct time positioning and also value relative to the, the, the time of the ephemeris. So there's always, always these exact calculations that need to be made to find these precise position parameters of the satellite. Now each one of these arguments would take an entire video to explain the details of that which we plan to do later on so we'll come back and show exactly how these calculations are done right now this is more of an awareness situation so here these are the values that are being calculated for us primarily they're correction terms used to find the exact position satellite in of course the earth fixed earth centered coordinate system and that is how it's done